Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to extract data from a PDF file. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm taking this PDF file. I want to extract data from within the square box. So I want to extract customer, ID, address, email address, and phone number. I want to update this data in a SharePoint column. I already have created the SharePoint column in which I want to update the data. So without wasting any further time, let's create this solution in Power Automate. So let's start creating a Power Automate. The first thing that I need to do is select a trigger. Our file is in SharePoint. So I'm going to select SharePoint and I'm going to select the trigger. The trigger is when the file is created or modified properties only. To the trigger, I need to give it a site URL, so an address. So let me go back and quickly copy the site URL and paste it in. Perfect. Next, I need to go ahead and give it the name of the library. It is demo docs. The next would be adding the action. The first step that I need to do is get the file content. So I'll use the SharePoint action and I'll say get file content. So again, I need to pass it the URL and I need to pass in the identifier. The identifier will be returned by when a file is created or modified action. Now this, my friend, is where the real magic happens. So I'm going to use the aqua forest action to extract data or to get data out of the PDF file. So get data from PDF is the action that I'm going to use. The first parameter it needs is the file content and next it needs the expected keys. So the expected keys would be these particular tuples. So I'll quickly add these keys. I'll copy paste it in. And next I'm going to go ahead and create, or I can say that update file properties. Perfect. I'll give it the site URL, I'll give it the library URL, and I'm also going to give it the title and the values that are returned by the Aqua Forest action, that is customer, the ID number, and the address. And the phone number as well. Now, next, one question might come to you is that the source and destination is the same. So how do we avoid the infinite loop? I'm using an account, Chris TC, it's a service account, and no other person is associated with it. So what I can do is that I can add a trigger condition such that whenever the file, whenever there is a trigger by Christy C, do not trigger the flow. Any other account, then trigger the flow. I leave the formula for the trigger condition in the description of the video. So let us go ahead and test our flow. So I'm uploading the file to my SharePoint. In fact, let me just drag and drop it in. The file is getting uploaded. And let's look at our flow. So our flow is running. So it has triggered. It is getting the data from the PDF. So most importantly, you don't need to create an AI model. The action will do all the heavy lifting behind the scene. It will go into the document search for the keys and extract the value. Isn't that awesome? This, my friend, is actually intelligent AI behind the scene. And the best part of it, you don't have to create your AI model. So our flow has completed and the values seem to be updated. So here, my friends, if you see, the values are extracted. So if you look at the document, 
the values are extracted into the SharePoint column. I hope this demo or the tutorial, I hope this tutorial was beneficial and thank you for your time.